recently, hundreds of residents and political figures gathered to celebrate the village of Hempstead's 375th anniversary. I missed the first 300 years, but I've been here for the last 75. And it's a beautiful community. I love the people. And I'm looking forward to seeing this renaissance of the village of Hempstead. <laughs> As the village's first African-American mayor, Jim Gardner has been a key part of that renaissance. And I'm so happy to be a part of the 375th anniversary of the village of Hempstead. Hempstead is a place I love. I led this place for 16 long years. During those 16 years, Mayor Gardner's economic development plan revitalized the community. He was invited to speak about Hempstead's turnaround by cities around the world. And he served as president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. Although he's a Republican, many were unaware of his party affiliation. You heard it articulated by some of the Democrats up there that you have to do it in such a way you work right down the middle to get things done, to make sure that the people of Hempstead can benefit by it. James A. And in return, to show their gratitude, the people of Hempstead named the street after him. I'm tired of giving my love. And get to nowhere. Helping to make the day extra special was international recording artist and the mayor's former secretary, Robin S. As a blind student, David Patterson, New York's first African American governor, was educated in Hempstead. There's no one that ever lived in Hempstead that provided opportunity to more people than Mayor James Garner. And joining the celebration all the way from the Mile High City was Denver's first black mayor and Jim Gardner's mentor. Look at me good. So now you can say you know some black people from Colorado. He was first African-American mayor of Hempstead. I was first African-American mayor of Denver, Colorado. So we had a lot of similarities and we worked close together. And so we wanted to be here for the celebration. We need to honor elders, we need to honor the people we respect, we need to honor our leaders while they're alive to enjoy it. Let them appreciate the roses while they're alive as opposed to doing it when they pass on. That might be good for the kids, but it's not good for the people that were actually toiling in the field. The day's celebration also featured the unveiling of a new exhibition. If you go into the courtroom, you'll see a history of the village and a history of Jim Garner. It's very exciting, very worthwhile, and everyone is invited. They are persons who never had politics on their mind, but now they believe that they too can take part in the political process because not only did they see you do it, they saw you do it well, with honor, with distinction, and above all else, with integrity. I stood on Martin Luther King's shoulders. I stood on Reverend Carl shoulder, who gave me the opportunity, and that's what I wanted to do. If you look around, after I left office, there's more African Americans in office now than there were before I came. So I like to think that I've left a legacy.